So if you think you can create this effect using After Effects so you are in the right place. So let's get started and see how we can achieve this effect using After Effects and Caution Splatting plugin. So you will get this plugin from the link in the description. So make sure comment down below and also follow this channel for more videos. So let's start this video and let's see how we can achieve this. So as you can see I have opened this uh, project already that you have already seen it's similar like that. So today in this video we will try to create similar uh, this effect uh, on this uh, statue basically. So we will start from the scratch basically so these are some effects like some adjustments over there. So now we are going to create one new composition from the project panel so just create a new composition make sure it's uh, 1920 by 1080 or whatever you like to uh, go with the ratio so make sure uh, you are on a right FPS so I'm choosing the 24 FPS and create a new composition here you can see I have created one new composition and here we need to provide some uh, PY extension so PY stands for the by or it uh, basically the caution splatted own resources so how you can find that to find this uh, thing you can go to the new tab of your any browser and you can search on uh, you can search on any sketch uh, sketchfab.com over there you can see sketchfab.com and here you can easily search for this effect uh, which is called the uh, splat uh, py something pi something splat okay so this is kind of a thing so let's see it is splatting or not so make sure you need to open this one by one to see that if it is splatting or not so as you can see this is not opening I guess it has some reasons okay so as you can see it's now uh, loaded uh, almost so here it is the splatting uh, effect so when you go to under this option on the follow so you'll get this kind of thing so you uh, have to find the py extension but it doesn't have any py so it will not work uh, this case so we have to go back uh, for that so we need to search for again the splat effect basically you need one pi uh, for that to so splat splat or you can search here gaussian splat gaussian splat py model gaussian splat splat yes it is right so let me if it has apply yes so you can see it's a tree basically uh, doesn't have many things so it's a tree and from this download 3d model you need to uh, search for this PLY original format so basically you need to search for the PLY extension uh, so if you have any um, uh, subscription on the polycam basically what is the polycam polycam basically is a tool or application for android and ios device users so polycam it mainly built to scan uh, any object or create it on the 3d object but for the PLY extension dot PLY extension you need a subscription based for the polycam app so i i don't have any subscription so i recently searched for the sketch fab and found this is also a um, good site to find PLY formats so i have downloaded the file so now we are opening our own after effects and we have to uh, import the PLY format like you can see I have imported some PLY extension over there you can simply go to the right click on your mouse go to file and here you need to go to the download section in the compress section we have uh, bigger files out there 
so we mainly go to the folder section basically we have to find the file basically so this is the tree file uh, and the source file over there so you just simply find the tree dot chip so you must uh, copy this outside and you need to extract to the folder itself so you can find this tree and is the uh, on uh, PLY format so you must go for the file import and search for the uh, file over there tree uh, and import it so you can see I have imported the PLY as you can see it doesn't have any kind of uh, proper uh, showing thing or any appearance so for fixing that what I I have done to the uh, previous one you can see I have added one camera to basically move that uh, object around so it basically help to position it or align it so I have created one also solid layer okay so we go for the here and create a new camera over there and you can also create any camera it doesn't matter basically so you have your camera you can go to this one and you can simply rotate it it doesn't again show off so we'll create a new object from here to create a new solid layer and we will add our Gaussian splatting plugin so Gaussian splatting is here so we must search for the splat instead here's the Gaussian splatting so we have dragged it over and open from there you go for the model section and choose this trip tly so you can see it is saying that fail to load model uh, the file doesn't contain any splats the file doesn't contain any splats basically it's an error from the file itself so so make sure you created own splat file or make sure you created own splat file or copied from polycam so let's ignore this and uh, drag our own splat file which i have already used so i'm going to the project panel and i'm gonna use my existing uh joe statue that statue so you can see and uh, now go for the fx panel now i'm gonna select this so i think it has same problem uh, i guess we have something different uh this one i guess there are different files so basically you can see it is now loaded as you can see it is not showing well so let's see how we can easily fix it i think let's copy this transform for a while now basically i don't find this uh, option to basically show where it is the file so i think the file has somewhere yes so you can see uh, sometime you need to find this file by your site or you can simply use this project to copy the camera uh, information like camera uh, position and orientation so it can uh, give you the uh, where your exact file is so if you have deleted those uh, position key so you still on uh, finding this file so if I go to this uh, orientation key so you can see it is still uh, visible so it doesn't uh, going around so let me position it for you to give you the clear view of the thing so here it is the statue of liberty i guess i don't know what is this project about and uh, so here's the statue and no so first you need to go for the solid layer and include this gaussian splatting and to view the render of the your statue make sure you can copy the uh, preference like uh, transform and other key values from my project you can use those keyframes to find the PLY object in your workspace so if you open this option so you must go for the statue selected and make sure it is on source and you can also align it from this uh, here from here you can see here the uh, rotations you can uh, you can simply rotate uh, movement you can rotate it okay you can align it you can scale in out okay you can do everything 
from this here also you can change the anchor point position you can change some rotation over there i guess so let me go for the, this one right now and we have to make just like this one so let's see and here is the main thing is you uh, go for the effect from here drop down and you need to go for the splat scale effect as you can see i have built uh, the splat effect after applying this you go for the drop down of the splat screen model section and here in the splat scale on the, under the effect you'll find the splat scale shape so is a scale shape over there so i have already keyframed uh, the things so you can also keyframe so keyframe to reveal the statue basically okay so you can see it's a completely animated one basically so i have also animated this thing using the camera so but you don't have to do that you need to uh, animate this statue using the splat itself so as you can see i have animated this thing so if i deleted this thing you will see uh, this is revealed from here so we can we can must uh, animate this from here so you can see i can uh, enable this keyframe over there and after that going somewhere now some nearby and you can simply animate it like that you can change some keyframe or you can also add it like that you can also use some orientation uh, to make it uh, actually awesome and you can see this kind of animation you can also work and it was like before so i'm undo this so it has some different level of animation so basically it is uh, somehow now uh, uh, reveal from here then it closed uh, rotate from this uh, any uh, keyframe to this one so basically it will start from here then it will orienting you can see the value orientation position and point of interest changes uh, gradually and then it has some positioning in the y axis of f uh, and the top of the thing so you need to just animate by keyframe using the camera basically it's simple thing you just you can also do it using this uh, thing also you can rotate from here to animate this thing so if you want to uh, watch this keyframe animation so it's a simple thing you can uh, disable this so for now i'm just uh, make it side cut so revealing from here just we'll uh, uh, create some keyframes and after some time we we'll can add like this something like this and we can use this one or, or orbit orientation tool to move it from like this so then we can go to gradually somewhere like that and we can also position it in somewhere this and we can also use some orbit around scale like this you can scale to orbit like that okay so that's how we can easily create any kind of animation so it's kind of a small animation so you can do that that i have created already and after that you go for the keyframe assistant because you don't uh, need to do like that so make sure you have in keyframe assistant select all the keyframe and press f9 from the keyboard to ease ease and after that open this uh, timeline of the time remap tool go there and change this to edit value graph and over there you uh, need to first zoom in little bit and you can simply squeeze in to make it some smooth animation like that so as you can see it's up go then it's completely zoom in and then it's going another down slow down and then again it scores up then down so it's kind of a time ramping okay and after that uh, doing such uh, keyframing we have to place uh, a splatting effect so for placing the splatting effect go to the solid layer and under the effects uh, under the effects and you go for the splat scale and you need to change this keyframe under the scale shape type you can see i have already put this so you can also side a little bit and we can add one keyframe 
with the zero position value and we go to the next keyframe we can value around uh, 539 so it basically give you some wireframe method you can see so i have already uh, keyframing so i'm not doing it again so you can see you can also keyframing like that like wireframe methods okay so that's how you can create it with splat scale like wireframe effect after that you can also um, change the noise from here is the noise make sure you have also enabled these things from this option like splat uh, enable enabling from here so if you are not enabling it it will not show and after that go for the amplified effect and you can also do it like that simply this noise basically means it shows like that if i go to the end of the keyframe you can see the noises are just simply dispersing everywhere so you can also create it from the noise effect so you can see the noise effects it's running and after doing such effect we can also add some colors over it so for changing the color we go for the effects under color grading okay you can find the color grading and you can also go for the splat color and enable this splat color to enable this splat color after that you can see it's added the color to this scene so you can also add some color from here you can change the color shapes like other splat shape to enable uh, or fade in color in or out and after that you can change the color over there which color you want to pick you can also pick from here and that's how you can easily create this kind of effect using after effects and a script plugin the gaussian splatting effect plugin so you can easily download this project free from the description link and if you enjoyed this video make sure comment down below if you have any questions you can also comment down below and you can follow my channel for latest videos and that's how we can easily create the gaussian plat uh, literally really insane effects ever created from the age script plugin and also you can place this object to any 3d surface you can track with mokai that i have already you can all watch previous videos from the link in the description so thank you thank you for watching if you find this really helpful don't forget to subscribe or share with others